All right, what's going on guys? Just kidding. What is up YouTube? I almost forgot how to YouTube has been so long. But we are here at Sam's Club. I'm gonna be running you guys through a bit of a grocery haul. I'm slowly starting to work out again, but not really full training because I'm still not supposed to train because of my hair, but still trying to get my diet on plan. I've been slacking on meals a lot. So we're gonna do a little grocery haul and I'm also not on diet. So I like getting some snacks and some good stuff and there's some great snacks here. So I'm gonna be running you guys through everything I'm buying right now last trip before the holidays and then really gonna lock in my diet afterwards and I'll do another grocery haul then. So let's get to it. <sighs> All right, where do we start? Necklace for Courtney? Ugh, should I get her a nice... Oh, they have Versace watches, interesting. I don't know if I should avoid the snack aisle or go through the snack aisle because I have no self-control right now for food, but we're gonna head straight back to the meat aisle and stock up on some protein. All right, so I love sandwiches, so Turkey breast is the goat that goes on it. It's a fat box of turkey breast, oven roasted turkey breast. I don't eat these a lot, but I just love sandwiches. So I have probably one every other day, at least. And I stuff it full of meat. So this will last me like a week, maybe. We got kind of tired of eating lean meat after prep, obviously. So I've actually been, I don't like eating a lot of red meat consistently, like multiple meals a day. So I'll have one, but I have been eating a lot of salmon. So I'll have salmon like once or twice a day right now. It tastes absolutely delicious. So Atlantic salmon is the way to go too. My go two fresh fats, omega threes, one of the goats fats that you can eat. So eat a lot of salmon. Bison has been the go-to ground meat. I'll get like steaks and then bison. I actually kind of like the flavor more than ground beef. And because it's more of a wild game animal, not actually wild anymore because we live in America in the 22nd century. Just kidding. But um, they're less likely to be farmed, full of drugs, all that kind of shit. So I stick with bison lately. $2.68, $2.68 a pound. The hell of a good price for chicken. Boneless, skinless chicken breast. You can't beat some chicken breast. And Courtney has the master of frying them up with coconut aminos now. So I've actually been enjoying that. Chicken and rice meals, always a fresh go-to. All right, goat. They only have one of these left. The USDA Prime Beef Tenderloin, AKA Filet Mignon. This is my go-to cut of steak. Some people are like, doesn't have enough flavor, but I don't know, I love it. A little more lean than some. And to me, it tastes amazing. It cooks nice and tender. So it's always my go-to steak. A little bit bougie, but I like it. All right, this bag of chopped kale. I don't use it for salads and I do not use the poppy seed dressing that's inside it. But if you fry this up a little bit, either on the stove or in the oven with like some olive oil, coconut oil on it, fry it in a little bit, gets crispy, throw it in a chicken and rice bowl. Tastes amazing, so try it out. All right, I don't know if this is typical in Florida. They have these year round probably because it's Florida and they're the orange juice state. But in Canada, we only get these around Christmas time, these little clementines, these baby. There's another word they used to call them. I can't remember. Do you remember sweeties, what they were called? There was something else. But I love these and they're nostalgic as hell. I'll bring like four or five to work with me every day and they just taste great and I enjoy them. So, plus vitamin C. Sunny D is nostalgia as fuck. I wasn't even allowed to drink that when I was younger. Jeez, not fitting through here. All right, this is my treat of choice. People are always like, what's your favorite treat? And I never have an answer, but recently I have been absolutely enjoying chicken strips, AKA chicken nuggets. But when you buy the ones that are called chicken strips, they're usually a little bit more bougie and then they're breaded a little bit like lighter and crispier, delicious. So this was like a honey mustard, honey mustard mixed with like mayo or a ketchup mixed with like sriracha and dip them in there, fire dips. So I've been enjoying that. Sweet potatoes, chop these up, skin them, chop them up. And now that I'm not dieting, cover the shit out of them with coconut oil. For some reason, coconut oil makes them the most crispy. Either a spray or you can like melt coconut oil and drizzle it on top. Put them in the oven on like 350 instead of 400 and they actually get crispy. I burn them a little bit just to get a sweet potato fries. And they're not deep fried, so another go-to. Free osk. That's kind of cool. These things are actually pretty fire. I have them stocked up at home. Oh, I have are you a YouTuber? Yes. I am too. Are you? Awesome. Very cool. Yeah. That's why I normally send Courtney to do my groceries, but you know, sometimes I gotta suffer because she's pregnant, can't always leave the house. <sighs> Yallops? Nah, not today. Do they have frozen, did I pass the frozen vegetables? I feel like I did. I need a fucking frozen vegetable medley. the lazy man's secret to chicken stir fries or any kind of stir fry. I put them in the microwave for like a minute or two and then I just throw them on the pan and let them get like a little bit crispy. And then I put my rice and chicken in there. Tastes fire, delicious. Pizza bagels would be fire, I'm not gonna lie. 
See, if I was like actually working out and doing cardio, which I'm not allowed to, I'd be splurging a little bit more on some snacks and treats, but I got my chicken nuggets at least. It's trash. Replace all that with bum energy next year, maybe. Whole eggs, I am absolutely over egg whites, so. I'm making sure none of these are broken. After eating egg whites for fucking four months, I'm eating yolk and no extra egg whites, so that's all I'm getting. I'm literally debating in my mind right now if I'll eat it or not, and I probably won't, so I'm just gonna leave it. I'm not gonna pretend like I'm being that healthy right now. I could definitely go for some raisin bran. I'm also gonna walk by that fast. Single ingredient. Well, there's actually two. Almonds and salt. But I always try to make sure there's no extra added oils to this. It's only $7 for a giant tub of almond butter, so it's actually a great price. Not complaining. I drizzle a shit of that on my toast in the morning. This is Calvin's toast. When's the last time you had Nutella? When you were at my house in prep? Figured. What? Why'd you say, oh, if you realize why? Well, like it says food service, so like it's more like restaurant. I don't think so, man. I don't think restaurants buy their stuff here. I think that's America. I feel like becoming a dad, I'm gonna have to start liking stuff like olives and black licorice, and I don't know if I'm ready for that. But all dads like those flavors, and root beer. I'm starting to actually like root beer, so maybe it's coming along, but olives and black licorice are just not for me. <laughs> no, we're making a better version of that from raw. Insure? <laughs> I mean, no, it's not quite insure. All insure is fucking sugar with it, and pretending like it's a meal. They probably aren't better than that. That's when my grandma used to drink it, but they taste fire, but we're making a better raw R2D, so coming soon in the new year. This is always super cool to see. And it's, we've come here three times, and one time they had everything in stock, and this is the second time that, there's one pre-workout left, all the creatine's gone. Still a bunch of protein, but we have extra protein anyway, so pretty cool coming to a grocery store like Sam's Club and seeing this on the shelf, and especially seeing a lot of it sold out. So any of you guys that are here at Sam's Club buying it, appreciate you guys for selling it out. And if not, they got some damn crazy prices, so be sure to check it out. Dried mangoes. You like dried mangoes? Very elderly snack to like, too. What are, look at these. Pickled eggs. Pickled eggs? I had one at Tennessee, it was disgusting. That sounds disgusting. Do they have any popcorners here? There you go. They have the variety pack. All right, I needed a snack. If you asked me what I wanted to get as a snack, it would be these. I've never actually had these ones, but peanut butter filled pretzels are fire. But these are like my little like lover snack. When I go on trips, every time I see them in the airport, I buy them. They're a hell of a lot cheaper to buy them at the store. So find a box of those and they're actually low calorie. So I'm still working on not getting fat. The bulk will be coming in the new year. Uh, I think that's everything. I'm leaving in like six days for Chicago and Canada, so we're in everyone's way right now too. I'm feeling I'm having anxiety right now. Everyone's staring at us, so I need to walk out of the way. <sighs> but yeah, I'm leaving in like six days, so I think this will definitely hold me over. If worst case, I can just live on chicken nuggets for the last couple days I'm here, and then nothing's stuck in my fridge over Christmas. So I'm gonna check out and go home and see you guys there, I guess. You can hear everything we're saying. It's an empty sack. It's about to be a full sack. Oh! Doesn't he look like an elf? That's <laughs> <laughs> a really ugly hat, eh? Why does it look so weird? <laughs> I need the raw credit card. <laughs> Don't ask questions. It's probably good. Every day at five. Are you coming home soon? No. <laughs> we just started working. Mom, what bike do you want? I'll do take like Spider-Man or, or do you want a pony? Probably the pink fits me better. What? The pink fits me better. It's really? Not, yeah. I kind of like the Spider-Man. You get a mask with that? No, it's not a mask. Gift number one. Those training wheels are not going to hold his fat ass. We're gonna get booted out of the store before we even get in there. <laughs> Damn, that's a Ford Raptor? That's pretty bad. That's a Gen 2 though. We need a Gen 3 up in here. Alright kids, everybody gets to pick one toy and we're giving it away. Disqualify as a toy? <laughs> <laughs> a little hatchet? You're too young for that. Put that back. <laughs> oh, this is pretty badass. How about we get one of these? A massage gun? 
That's a good one. Big one. Big go big or go home. This was actually one of my favorite things, building those things when I was young. I had a track that was like six feet tall in the middle full loop. Pretty badass. Which one? That one actually looks like it. looks badass. A pump action shotgun. With little balls. I'll get that too. It's like pellets. Imagine being a kid with like a fucking gun. credit card like this and you could just come in here and buy whatever you want. How good life would be. What is that? I don't know. A little gel balls? It looks like it would hurt. It's like a BB. Yeah? Might have to shoot you with that. Definitely need to do a little Charizard. A little piece of nostalgia in every realm. Pokemon ain't Lego. Golden. Valid. I would want that. <laughs> a quick $500. Oh, Warthog? Not made out of money, kids. Keep moving. I think definitely an iPad or some kind of computer or something would be good. Yeah. From here? Yeah, could we get uh, two pairs of AirPods then? The ones with a little rubber on them? Yeah. These are the third gens. These are the second gens. All right, I you don't... sold me. We'll get these. All right, um, what else? We'll get one of those. Do you have iPads here? Yeah. We'll grab an iPad. Anything else? Apple Watch. Apple Watch. <laughs> get an Apple Watch too. <laughs> it's Christmas, you know? Size. Gassy. Medium. <laughs> I don't even know whose credit card this is. I'm gonna put on some random shit? card I found on the ground. Oh, really? That's why we're here. Man, that's just quiet later. <laughs> <laughs> like, no! They got me! We add this to the order. Um, Why do you have that in your pocket, bro? <laughs> you <don't wanna laughs> Damn. Have a great weekend. Buying it for this guy. <laughs> yeah. <that's> <laughs> no, for him. No, He's for me. Kid. For me. He's I'm the child. kid. I'm the child. All right. So we got a good old toy haul here. Got Felt a like a kid in there buying whatever the hell I wanted under the raw credit card. So, God bless. But awesome stuff. We're going to be donating a bunch of it, like I said. But we're also going to be doing a giveaway with a bunch of the goodies. Got an iPad, some headphones, a massage gun, a bunch of cool stuff. So all you have to do, we're making it super easy. Like this post, follow Raw, it's all you need, and you get entered to win the giveaway. Just a little Christmas spirit, because we appreciate you guys, we love you guys, all your support. Good things coming for 2024, so stay tuned. Thank you guys. All right, so back in the gym right now. I'm not really officially starting to work out. I'm still not supposed to train for like another week but I'm just gonna do a little bit of movement, train a little bit because, you know, when someone says take 30 days off, what they really mean is 21 because they know you're not gonna listen to them. So 21 days back in the gym right now and gonna be doing a little bit of a back workout. For the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna do like four, three to four workouts a week. I think I'm gonna do like a push pull leg style split just to like ease back into it. It's funny, I did some of that mobility stuff with GBRS guys and my like obliques, my hips, my like joints and shit were like sore. And you would think taking time off actually would help you feel better, but it makes you feel worse because I have a lot of muscle that was already tight and sore and not moving, sitting in desk, sleeping like this, everything just got more locked. And so I have a lot of muscle that just got tighter because there was no movement to it. So that's why movement's so important and why taking time off and not moving at all feels like shit. So I don't feel rested right now. I feel even more sore, but my body internally, my nervous system, I'm sure is rested more than I understand. So we're gonna ease back into training, do a little bit of back and buys today, I guess, because that's what you would call pull, and he's back into it. And then in the new year, when I'm back in like a week, I'll start really getting into training a little bit more. I got the transformation challenge coming up. Signups are gonna start probably on like January 1st for that. I'm gonna come back, walk you guys through how I'm eating, which is gonna be a little bit more fun, like sandwiches and wrap shit than my basic ass bodybuilding prep, but still very consistent with my protein and training, a little bit of cardio, stay in shape, and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna try and get this workout in, and then I guess this will be the last video till the new year. Dom sent me a DM yesterday because Vaughn posted a story training here. He's like, I bet you anything you're gonna have handprints all over the mirror tomorrow morning. <laughs> Vaughn? What? Vaughn? He, I guess because he sees Vaughn do it at Revive Gym. He'll like lean against... That was me. What? That was me. Well then maybe he was talking about you. <laughs> He wasn't wrong. Oh, damn.
I'm trying to do a little bit more free weights right now. I did so many machines in prep. My body becomes fragile. I had a bunch of injuries like when I tore my lat. I had to avoid a lot of stuff. But I would like to be a little bit more stable and sturdy. So I'm gonna do, now that I'm especially doing lightweight, do some barbell rows, pull-ups, maybe some of those with raining. Some of those rows DJ was doing. Bro, the fact he went up and grabbed 100 pounds one leg and just did that without warming up, I was actually impressed. I couldn't do that. So maybe I'll start with 80s today and then work my way up. It's cool when you're talking about one of his ways of training is like kind of warm the body up, but not fully and then just jump into something. Cause like they have to be used to hiking for hours and then into combat, you know? You don't have time to fucking stretch your hips and rotator cuffs when you're That'd be nice. overseas. <laughs> Imagine. I'm not gonna do that shit, I'll break in half. I'm still gonna warm my ass up and take my time. But it was cool hearing that. Anything a week you can get in six weeks, five weeks. <sighs> yeah. Hi guys. <laughs> what? You got the mic. Oh yeah, they can't hear you. No, they can't. What? No, they can't. Did you turn my mic off? No, I just turned off processing. Dual audio. Big baby. Big girl. Like, I'm a big girl. <laughs> Give me Look a baby. Well, they already know, but little baby girl. Hey, I've let it slip a few times, but. Girly. Are you excited to be a girl, Dad? I am, yeah. You are? It's scary, but yeah. I know, it's kind of scary. The beginning will be great, because I feel like she'll be my best friend and we'll team up against you. Oh. But teenage Honestly, girls is terrifying. <laughs> I was telling her I'm gonna hop back on trend for the first time. And when I when she's like 14, get some more tattoos, fucking shave my head bald, grow a beard out, move DJ down to live be my neighbor, and we're just gonna fucking terrify anyone who tries to talk to her. DJ has like I think three girls. Yeah. He's a girl dad. Yeah. It's gonna be quite interesting. Bye. I feel like a girl dad is like the best thing to start with for me to like softens you up, you know? Yeah. After being a bodybuilder for 10 years of just fucking suppressing, compartmentalize everything, no now, more of that. Now be a little softy. <sighs> yeah. You're gonna be smitten. He always says we're not spoiling any kid. <laughs> well, like, dad can spoil the girl, but you can't spoil a boy. First with a Different. little girl who's like gonna be obsessed with him. Good luck. Yeah, I'm fucked. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> put all this pain bomb on me, like menthol CBD pain bomb because we're traveling today and I had a, getting a headache. This shit fucking works, I'm not gonna lie. There's a few things I've taken of natural remedies that work, but I'm like frozen, sweating, burning now under this hoodie with all this shit on, but it feels good. It relaxes my neck and the tension that I've home my headaches. It's actually helping a little bit, not solving it, but it's helping. So I might fucking bathe myself in menthol every single day now. That'll be like my new cologne. I don't have the core strength for this.
he made that look real easy. I feel like I could have four weeks of stability training and I'll be able to do a backflip on my snowboard in January. That's how it works, right? Did you grab another 80? Oh no, it's 90. But like, damn, I felt heavier. Understanding, I didn't know why exactly. Those are good other than stabilizing your core. But when you think of doing a row, this is what I just felt in my mind. There's so much movement you can get from your hip and your leg and rowing it. And when you're balancing like that and you have one leg up, if you let your hip rotate too much and you pull from that, from the row, so the motion's coming from your hip rather than your back, it throws you off balance and you start to shake. So you have to really focus on retracting and protracting your scapula and only rowing from your back, keeping everything else stable. And it just makes sense, you know? So, not a bad thing. Not the best bodybuilding thing because you can't load it as much. But definitely something good. It feels good like it would protect your shoulders, help you move your scapula. <laughs> All right, doing some pull-ups. I want to get good at these. For some reason, I'm sure there's a biomechanic explanation for this, but pull-downs don't translate to pull-ups at all. And I just want to get really proficient at doing pull-ups. So I'm going to be pulling out pull-downs for a while, at least overhand pull-downs to do underhand. Put in some pull-ups. I can only do like 10 right now in my first set. So goal is just to get more than that. But I don't know what to say, isn't that? It feels more like a fluid, natural motion, just like my body, because I can move my body underneath it to pull where it feels comfortable rather than locked in position so we're trying to do right now because why the fuck not I'm not two weeks out of the olympia we can try some new things <laughs> stamina on these drops by like two three reps if i only take a minute recovery set it's gonna explode at the top explode uh, do a muscle up drive your chin over the bar you like tear his chest if i did a muscle up I'm kidding. I'm probably kidding. Like we travel today you know maybe we should like go to the hospital and avoid <sighs> why not they all know me there they're like you tear it tear another muscle chris what is it this time? Hamstring, shoulder, lat, bicep. What's life without a challenge, right? <sighs> life is about suffering. I'm not gonna lie, I felt really skinny fat. And then I like work out once and I get a little blood in my muscle and I'm just like, I feel like my muscles were just like tired and dormant. So I didn't get that skinny yet, which is good because I normally lose a lot more muscle than this when I take time off. As long as I can at least stay here, start building up from this spot. 
I'll be 300 pounds, right, babe? This year? Yeah. Doing the open this year, so I'm gonna be bigger than Samson. It's a goal. He said he wanted to cross. Want, he said he's trying to get a special invite to the cross the game. Then I just said, hey, I don't know if he would play. <laughs> she said it so gently as if I already didn't know that. But I know he's competitive and he likes to do things to win. So I'm like, would you be okay with losing? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> if I did CrossFit, fuck yeah, I'd be okay with losing. I wouldn't even finish the first event. I wouldn't finish. <laughs> I, there was not one event I could finish. Not I, one. I actually think it'd be cool if you tried. I do. What do you guys think? I, I genuinely think that like, there'd be more people watching just to see how fucking terrible. It how bad it would be. Yeah, but people who like the thing is, I wouldn't even want that because it would be like a disrespect to the people who tried so hard to get to the games, yeah. and then people are tuning in just to laugh at me. It's like devaluing their brand. Yeah, I, I, I hear you. So I, so I'm gonna train for it, and then I'm gonna win it. Yeah, Yeah, it's like, Matt, it's like Matt Frazier going to the Olympia yeah. and competing against yeah. me. People are like, the fuck is this guy doing here? But he I'm would not, destroy us all in CrossFit. I'm not saying you would be that. I think you, could, you would actually surprise yourself and you would be better than you think. Yeah, it would take 10 years of training and going back in time 10 years and doing that 10 yeah, years of training. Yeah, it's like thinking of a CrossFitter trying to do like a bodybuilding show. It's, it's very different. Like, I would not do good at it. Bodybuilding, CrossFit, you might be like, just, I don't know. Maybe when I'm like 35, I'll train for a year. Do one, yeah. I believe. What do you guys I wouldn't do the games. <laughs> I could do like the local poor St. Lucie wad. <laughs> Run around the parking lot and do some pull ups. I think it'd be great. You should try it. Even if you don't play. We just love you. Yeah. 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 I just want to finish, not place. See, when he's a kid, I don't think we have the genetics for a kid to go to the NFL. Sorry, buddy. He's blaming me. <laughs> Maybe. You never know. I wouldn't stop him. I wouldn't look at an eight-year-old boy and be like, you're going to get brain injuries. You can't play football. And he'd be like, what? And then now we have a fucking kid walking around a helmet afraid of everything. No, he's going <laughs> to he's gonna try everything by himself, and he can learn from his own mistakes. Okay. I was just asking. I'm not putting fear in his brain. I wouldn't be able to do CrossFit because I couldn't stop training biceps. And I have really fragile biceps. So the tighter and stronger they get, the more likely they're going to tear. But I wouldn't sacrifice having small arms to just do some kipping pull ups. Not worth it. This is my snowboard training. I feel like I should be doing opposite arm, opposite leg. I just hear her. <laughs> it sounds just like that Velcro. I don't know if the mic will pick it up. Yeah, you may as well hear it. It's literally just like Velcro. All right, so that's a wrap on 2023. See you guys later. Appreciate you guys. I feel like maybe I should do like a yearly recap style video because it's been a fucking insane year. I don't even remember what happened. I should do it for my own therapy to remember what happened this year. But we're heading off to the airport going to Chicago today. Calvin's going on a little trip too. We're going to pick this shit back up in the new year. So Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. See you soon. Everything to say, Court?